Hello, everybody, and welcome. My name is Tracy, and I am your host for today. Um, it is November 3rd, 2020, and what I wanted to do is just quickly go over a new feature in TradingView. I think it's an awesome feature, and it was recently added, so it has to do with your watch list. Now, let's just go ahead and create a new watch list. So you do that by going over to the right-hand side, and if you don't have this showing on your chart, you just click above um, above the clock here, you'll see this little piece of paper kind of thing with lines on it. Click on that and then uh, just click on the arrow down below. You can click create new playlist. And I'm just going to say this is a test list. And let's uh, add some tickers into here. So you click the plus sign. And we're going to add the spy. Let's add, say, uh, IWM. Let's add uh, Qs and the DIA. Let's add some Apple, um, AMD, um, let's go Netflix, we'll add pins, and let's just say, um, I don't know, uh, let's go Lulu. All right, so now the, the feature is really cool. So uh, I used to use these little flags, and you can collect, select the flags um, just click on them and then select whatever color. And that's how I used to identify what type of of uh, ticker was in here, whether it was a, a gap and go, a retest gap, whether it's a swing trade, etc. But now you can right click on the right click on the um, the ticker, and then go add section, and then double click on that section. Let's just put indices, and uh, go down to say Apple here. Let's right click on it, add section, and let's just call this a bull gap and go. Now, I'm not saying that they are a gap and go right now. It's just for demonstration purposes. Now, AMD, I'm going to right click on AMD and add section. And then I can double click on that. And let's just do this as a uh, bare retest gap. And then let's say, let's go to pins, right click on it and add section. And then let's go, um, let's say swing trades. So now I have a neat organization within my watch list, which is really cool. And I can just click and drag up, click and drag down into the sections. And it's easy to organize. I don't have to worry about the color. I don't have to remember what color was what, um, even though I've been doing it long enough now that I do remember. But uh, this gives you a little bit more freedom to, um, to kind of organize your watch list a little bit better. So I think it's really cool. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, throw them in the comments below. Otherwise, if you have any recommendations or things that you want me to post, uh, please put that in the chat below as well, and I'd be happy to put a video together. All right, you guys, happy trading.